Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be my hospital bag video. Um, this is a collab with Michaela and Baby P. Um, Michaela Adkins, many of you probably know her, many of you are probably subscribed to her channel already. If you're not, definitely go check out her channel and subscribe. Um, I'm going to link her video and her channel in the description box. So she is also filming a um, what's in my hospital bag video. So definitely go check out her video. I'm going to link it down below. This is my hospital bag. It's pretty big. It's basically just a giant duffel bag. Now it has two small straps and it also has one big strap. So I got this bag from Target and it was $35. So, it's a little pricey, but it's not as expensive as a lot of um, big duffel bags are from other places. If you guys see something that I didn't pack and you think I should pack it, um, just comment down below and let me know and I will probably stick it in here because I know I have a lot of people who have been into labor and stuff and they know what to pack. So, my hospital does provide quite a few things for me so I won't need to pack a ton of stuff but um, I probably did overpack a little bit but this is my first time going into labor and stuff obviously so if I did overpack it's whatever I'm still gonna bring the stuff with me so I'm just gonna kind of go into the bag and pick out stuff there's no order really the first thing I packed was flip-flops and these are just any generic brand I think these are Old Navy but um, I'm packing those for the shower just because, I don't know, I feel like it might be gross. So I'm packing those to wear in the shower. I'm also packing them to wear around the hospital and maybe even after um, on like the way home. Also, I am packing shoes. I'm packing sandals because it's going to be warm by the time I'm in labor. Oh, and I am packing a pair of sneakers. Um, but they're not in here because I wear them every day, so I didn't pack them in this bag, but they will be going in here. A bunch of underwear. There's six here. Um, I ordered these off of, I think, Walmart's website or something. Um, these are just like Fruit of the Loom regular underwear. Nothing special about them. I've got those because they're comfortable, they're big, um... This is what they look like. They are really comfortable. They probably will get ruined, so just keep that in mind. I'm also bringing three pairs of just regular socks um, and two pairs of the socks with the grips on the bottom. And these are fuzzy, but it's just because I couldn't find any other ones that had grips. I don't mind them being fuzzy. That's fine. Um, these are the Dr. Scholl's brand and I got these off of the Walmart website as well so if you guys are interested that's where I got those. I am bringing this sports bra. It looks like this and this is from Forever 21 and I am bringing this because my um, hospital offers a like jacuzzi tub and I'll probably wear this sports bra into the tub because I am going to be filming so I probably am going to want to be covered up. Um, I'm also bringing these, which are basically just spandex shorts, and these are Drymore, that's what it, the brand is. Um, I got these off of the Walmart website as well, so yeah, I'm going to bring those in case I want to wear them into the tub. I might not, I might just wear underwear, I might not wear any bottoms, I'm not sure yet, but I'm bringing those just in case. I also have a big t-shirt. I don't even know. This is just one that I had. I didn't buy that one. I am bringing pajama bottoms. And I am also bringing this, which is a, this is a nightgown. And I'm bringing this because it's super soft and comfortable. And also, um... I have the option to wear clothes that I want to wear or to wear the 
like Johnny that the hospital provides. So I'm bringing this in case I want to wear this instead of the Johnny. It's called Dream Nest. That's the brand. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, it has like lace on the top and it's super comfortable and flowy. So I think that'll be good to bring something comfortable to wear in case I have to spend multiple nights there too. I'm bringing three nursing bras. One of them is a like regular nursing bra. It has some padding in it, um, just like a layer of padding. And this I believe I got from Burlington, but the brand is Under Control Maternity. It looks like this. And um, I haven't tried these out or anything, so I'm not going to recommend them to you. But it seems as though it unclips pretty easily. So this one just has the clips on the side that you unclip and basically breastfeed. It unclips like that. Um, so I'm bringing that. I'm also bringing some nighttime ones. So these do not have clips. I got this from the Walmart website. Um, this is Nurture by Lamaze, I think. That's the brand name. It's too small to show you guys from the camera. But they look like this, the nighttime ones. So you can just like pull it down. You don't have to unclip anything. I will probably most likely be wearing these. But I do want to bring the regular one for on the way home. Um, I probably will want to wear that. I'm also bringing this pink one, um, and it's the same exact thing. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one because I just don't know like when my milk is going to come in or anything, so I do want to have one that's bigger. I am also bringing two t-shirts. One of them is black striped and one of them is just like a navy green color. I got these both from H&M, if you guys are wondering. I am bringing two pairs of leggings. Um, one is a size small and one is a size medium. Um, I don't think I'm going to be any bigger than a medium in leggings throughout my pregnancy because I haven't gained very much weight anywhere but my stomach. So I think I will be fine with the medium, but I'm bringing a small in case I want to wear those instead. And I am also bringing just a black sweatshirt. Nothing special about that and a long sleeve t-shirt just to in case it's cold in there or something at night I can wear that instead of the short sleeve t-shirt that I brought it has a zipper pocket on this side which I have something in and then it also has these pockets on this side which you can put your phone in or whatever you want to put in there so in this side pocket I have my breast pads. I also have a toothbrush in there. It's still in the package. I just got a new one that was like a buck because I don't want to have to pack my toothbrush and remember to bring it. just want to have everything in here and ready to go. So I also have a hairbrush. So inside here I also have these two pouches. Um, I got these from Stop and Shop I think just in like the makeup section. Um, in this one I have just a bunch of pads. These are the always like maxi pads I think. They're just like the thickest ones they have literally. And then I also have a nipple balm or nipple cream. Um, this is just the Lantano nipple cream and it's in the tube which I really like because a lot of the other ones I was looking at were in like a jar and I feel like it's just more of a hassle. And then in the second one I have all of my um, like toothpaste and stuff like that. So these are all just little things that I didn't want to get lost in the bag. I have some, these are just cleansing wipes which I'm probably going to like remove my makeup with and stuff. Um, I have chapstick 
I got a three pack, that's why there's so many, um, but I probably won't pack all of those. I have shampoo, I got the Tresemme moisturizing one, and I have the conditioner. So I have those. I have a body wash. This is Dove. I have deodorant. I have hair elastics. I have a razor. Um, I got a single one. These are all travel sized items too. And I also have a travel sized thing of toothpaste for whoever's in the hospital with me. So Dalton can use my like shampoo and stuff if he ends up staying with me. Um, if he like needs to shower there or something, you just never know what can happen. I might be in the hospital for more days than I think I am. I also have this bag, which if you guys saw my review on the Pat Pat items, you guys know exactly what these are. Um, but they sent this is their like shipping bags that they send their stuff in, which is super cute. Um, but I put my face wash in there just because it, I, if it leaks or something, I just don't want it to get all in the bag. Also, I'm going to be packing my makeup, just some basic stuff. I'm going to pack my concealer, mascara, stuff that I wear every day just in case I do want to wear makeup home, which I probably won't, but I'll pack it just in case. I also have a list of things that I need to pack when I am actually leaving to go to the hospital. I will have to pack my face wash um, because I use it every day so it probably won't be in my hospital bag. I need to pack my camera. I need to have fully charged batteries for my camera. I need to have a phone charger, my camera charger, my laptop, my laptop charger, and my tripod. Um, which I am using now so I will have to pack that because I do film my videos with it um, but all my camera stuff usually stays in one spot anyways I have this camera bag which I keep everything in um, except for my tripod because it is a bit larger so I'll probably throw that in my hospital bag as well because it will fit in there but yeah so that's pretty much it for this video guys I'm sorry if it was a little long um, I did have a lot of items to show you. So, if you enjoyed this video, definitely like and subscribe to my channel. Um, check out Michaela's video. I'm going to link it in the description once again. So, she might have some different items than me. I'm not really sure what she's packing. We've talked about it, but we haven't really told each other what we're packing and stuff. So, she might have a totally different item than I have. Um, definitely comment down below if you think I need to add anything to this bag because I will because I'm not sure what exactly I need um, the hospital does provide me with like pads and stuff like that but I'm bringing my own just because I know I like those and I might not like the hospital ones so I am going to try the hospital ones because I can save money doing that I won't have to buy a bunch more once I'm home from the hospital so I am going to just be using whatever the hospital provides. Um, I will be putting a what's in my baby's hospital bag video up after I get my hospital bag for her. Um, I have not gotten one yet so I don't have anything in there or anything like that. But once I do I will be making that video. I'm not sure if it's going to be a collab um, or if it's just going to be one a random video but um yeah thanks so much for watching guys i will see you guys in my next video bye guys